Yeah, Rosemary, you said it. I can tell you that there were shootings in Frankfurt and Germantown this afternoon, but I'm not about to talk about those. Detectives racing all around the city today, like you said, three separate shootings in North Philly, West Philly, Kensington, four victims in an hour and a half, including a one-year-old girl. A busy morning for detectives on the streets of Philadelphia. Three separate shootings had them running from scene to scene in a 90-minute span from 9.30 to 11. Diane McKee tells NBC10 she left her house after a shooting down the block once she heard all the commotion. When I came outside, all I seen was a whole block full of cops. She lives in Kensington, where a one-year-old girl was shot in the hand this morning, according to police. They say an argument inside the home during a wedding celebration spilled outside with at least four shots fired on Emerald Street. We're told the mom had been holding her little girl when she was shot. As we all know, I mean, there's been a lot of gun violence in Philadelphia, so you just have to be careful. I mean, unfortunately, this was an unfortunate incident. It started out as, as, as a, uh, just a friendly gathering and uh, just escalated to this, so it's just really unfortunate. Shortly after that shooting, investigators say a gunman shot two people, including a young woman twice in the head on Daring Street in North Philadelphia. About an hour later, officers raced over to 60 second in Chestnut in West Philadelphia for a man shot twice. The bullet casings were still on the ground when we showed up. The latest numbers, not including this week, show there were 1,312 shooting victims in 2021 at this time. This year, the city is at 1,327 victims, slightly up. I have grandchildren, and it's a lot of children around here, and it could have been worse. That was the fear this morning. Lots of kids outside, everybody wondering when this will stop. Of those four victims I was talking about, police say the woman who was shot in the head twice in North Philadelphia is in the worst shape. She's in extremely critical condition. So far, no one officially arrested yet. For now, we are live outside of police headquarters, Aaron Baskerville, NBC 10 News.